Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows war manifestation in the gut loops. There are three videos. You can see uh, three videos. And in the third video, you will see the war moving in the gut loop. Now, ultrasound offers a rapid, safe and non-invasive approach to the diagnosis of intestinal ascariasis. Ultrasound is also the modality of choice for diagnosis of hepatobiliary ascariasis which is relatively rare and is due to migration of intestinal valves through the papilla of waiter. Now you can see in the video this is the worm and this is possibly the tape worm. Ultrasound will depict the adult worm as a hypoechoic tubular structure with well-defined ecogenic walls. During real-time evaluation, the worm can be seen making curling movements. As you will see in the third video, this is the first video, or possibly this is the second video you are seeing. Ascariasis is an infection with Ascaris lumbricides, adult worm and is typically causes with gastrointestinal or pulmonary symptoms and depending on the stage of the disease development. Clinical presentation of Ascaris lumbricides is widely distributed in tropical and subtropical regions and in other humid areas. Approximately one quarter of the world's population is, is infected with this disease at any time of their life. It is much less common in developed countries and relatively rare in United States. Clinical presentation vary according to the stage of the life cycle of the infection. Now again you can see the worm manifestation, the worm, adult worm. Clinical presentation vary according to the stage of the life cycle of infection. Gastrointestinal manifestations are the most common complication of ascariasis is mechanical small bowel obstruction caused by a large number of worms. A large worm bolus may also cause valvulus or interse interception. Infestation with this worm may also cause other complications including acute appendicitis pancreatitis, acute cholecystitic and liver abscess. Now you can see this is the worm, possibly tape worm. Rare complications include cardiac tamponade and airway obstruction. Adult worm may be passed through the anus or through the mouth while vomiting. Now the pulmonary manifestations are pulmonary manifestation occur 5 to 6, 26 days following ingestion of viable eggs. Ascaris pneumonia may develop and consist of migratory transit localized intraalveolar inflammatory reactions. Now pulmonary ascariasis is most common cause of Loeffler syndrome which is characterized by fever, cough, sputum, asthma, eosinophilia and infiltrates seen at the chest radiography. Healthcare providers can diagnose ascariasis by taking stool sample and using a microscope to look for the presence of eggs. Some people notice infection with a warm when a worm is passed in their stool or is cuffed up 
if this happens bring the bring in the warm specimen to your health care provider for diagnosis now the most this is the third video and you will see the warm movements as the worm is seen in the gut loop the most important signs and symptoms used in clinical diagnosis of ascariasis includes epigastric and right hypochondrium pain vague abdominal pain localized around the navel in children and mimic peptic ulcer or colicky pain around the epigastric in adults fever spontaneous expulsion of adult worm from the anus now the signs that may indicate that a patient have a parasite unexplained constipation diarrhea gas bloating nausea and other symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome and if you have traveled internationally and get diarrhea to your trip you have had the food poisoning and your digestion has not been the same since now the common symptoms of intestinal worms are abdominal pain diarrhea nausea and vomiting gas bloating fatigue unexplained weight loss abdominal pain or tenderness now there are other worms also very common these are the pin worms and adult pin worm pin worm generally is 1/4 to 1/2 inch about 6 to 13 mm in the length the most common symptom of infection is anal itching particularly at night as worm migrate to hosts anal area to lay their eggs now you can find some information in the description of this video about this worm infestation thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks